Okay, here's a demo of a Liger with a GraphTech Ghost uh, piezo and MIDI system. Back of the guitar looks like this. There will be a plate covering this, the regular electronics plate covering that. So we're gonna run through the uh, toggles and, and the knobs and what they all do here. So uh, this is gonna be regular magnetic pickup volume. Uh, this one's MIDI volume, this one's piezo volume, and these two are tones for middle and bridge pickup, I believe. We're in the middle pickup right now. Okay. So that one's middle pickup tone, that one's bridge pickup tone. And then we have uh, over here, we have split coils for, for actually, uh, these two are split coil. The first toggle, if this is up here, you're in your neck pickup. And if you push this toggle down, now you have neck added to bridge. So it's a different sound. Um, when you go into the second position on the five way, now you have all three pickups on when that's down. And if you're in the four position, you also have all three pickups on if that toggle is down. And if you're in the bridge position, you have the bridge and the neck if that toggle is down. If that toggle is up, then you have just the bridge in that position. So this, this toggle basically adds the neck pickup to the bridge and then it depends on where the five-way pickup toggle is located as to what's going to happen there and then these two are your split coil toggles so when you're in the middle this is a split coil toggle for the middle pickup when you're in the bridge pickup selection this is your split coil for the bridge on the middle, humbucker, split coil. This toggle over here is your oboe toggle. Um, the way the guitar is currently wired up is it's just connected by the 13 pin connector on the side. And this powers on the preamp in the guitar for the magnetic pickups, and it powers on the piezo and, and MIDI system. And I have it set up now where the magnetic signal is going out of the 13 pin DIN into a Roland GR20, and then out of the Roland GR20 to the amp. Uh, but I also need to connect one second. need to connect the obel toggle i mean the obel jack so we have the godfrey daniels uh, dual trsts cable this would actually be great with the godfrey daniels anaconda cable which has the 13 pin in wired up as well um so you have three cables combined with the anaconda you'd have the 13 pin din and then you have the trs and then you have the ts so we're going to plug in the trs jack into the Obel I.O. jack. Uh, this doesn't need to be plugged in for the setup that I currently have, but if you have a separate amp or a mixer or a way to sum somehow or mix the output of the MIDI signal and the magnetic signal outside of the guitar, then you could plug this in to the guitar and then you'd have this going to your an amp and then you'd have the output of your MIDI interface going to another amp, or you'd have them going to a mixer, and then you'd be able to mix them somewhere into another amp. Uh, but for the way I have it set up, this actually doesn't need to be plugged in. So that toggle right there is your oboe toggle. The other two toggles one is your MIDI toggle. Uh, this is just going to toggle your patch up, patch down. So if we lower the magnetic pickup volume, 
we've got nothing. But if we raise the MIDI volume, we've got MIDI. As you can hear how the slides work, how the bends work. So then this is their patch up, patch down. So I'm in the, I'm in the wind uh, bank, I guess. Yeah, the wind bank. And if I push this down, it goes to the next patch. And then if I push it down, I get the next patch. Uh, next patch. Uh, and then we can go to the next patch. So it, you, you can basically, with this toggle, go to the next patch and the next patch, and then it'll take you to the next bank when all the patches in that particular bank have been gone through. And then if you push this toggle up, it goes back to the patch you were just on. So we'll go toggle back and forth. So that's, that's their MIDI. And then here's volume. So that's MIDI volume. And that's going to be for selecting your MIDI patch going up and down. If you have a MIDI interface with like a floorboard where you can select the patch and the bank, then you can do, do it like that as well. You don't need this to do your MIDI selection. So without touching the guitar toggle, I'll just switch over to the uh, bass guitar bank on the Roland GR20. And now we're in a whole different bank and sound. So go back to wind, which is where we were. Jump to piano on the Roland GR20. There we go. Okay, so that's MIDI. Um, the last toggle here is going to be uh, like a, a mix between piezo and magnetic, one or the other or both. So it's a three-way mini toggle. Right now, when it's down, it's just the magnetic pickups. So I'm going to turn down that MIDI, turn up the magnetic pickup. And that's where we were, we were at before. When this is in the middle position, it's piezo and magnetic. Kind of hard to hear a huge difference. Uh, but if we lower the magnetic volume, you'll hear the piezo. And this is piezo volume right here. So volume's all the way up. And then if you pull this, you get kind of like a different EQ curve for the piezo. You can, um, in the middle position, you can mix again. And in the up position on this toggle right here, it's all piezo. 
So we're all on piezo. We can now start mixing in everything. So with this toggle in the middle, we have magnetic pickups, we have piezo, and we have MIDI, all active and all on. And we can mix them with these three volume controls. So right now we have all three volume controls up. That's uh, magnetic, piezo, and MIDI. And we can also add the Microtron 3 into the signal. So that's all three in the signal with your effects loop on also. You can do all sorts of mixes here. You can, you know, have the magnetic pickups be more out in front. If you want to do that, you can take the magnetic pickups down, increase the MIDI, piezo. That's basically it. This is the Graph Tech Ghost MIDI system with the Resimax bridge. In the back, it's a little bit, a bit of a spaghetti mess, I suppose, but there's a basically a wiring harness for the MIDI for the magnetic pickups. And under here is the circuit board for the Graph Tech Ghost system, and then next to it is the preamp for the magnetic pickups that comes stock on every Liger and uh, just a lot of wires I tried to cable time as best as I could um, but yeah there's some some slack left in there on purpose for anyone who wants to go in there and start modifying things a bit further so there's definitely some slack to work on but that's the whole setup right there there you have it hope you enjoyed the video